Hi, this is Nick Haraz with Boris Effects here to bring you some tips and tricks for working with Sapphire inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Once you have Sapphire installed, we're gonna take a look this week at S Beauty, a way to beautify your footage. And just to show you under my effects tab, I'm gonna type in S underscore beauty in order to find the effect. And I'm gonna drag it onto the clip there in my timeline. Automatically, I see that there has been a change. If I go to my effect controls and just turn the effect off and on, I see that there's been a little bit of enhancement roughly around where her skin is. The first thing I recommend when using this effect is to choose your skin color. There's a default skin color that's chosen here, but if you use the eyedropper, you can sample your subject's skin color. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull a mat or a selection based on what you've done with your eyedropper. Just to show you what it has selected, I'll show you the skin detect mat. And we can tweak this skin detect mat using couple controls. First of all, we've got your Luma range. And keep in mind that moving in small increments in this case, the better. So if you hold down the command, follow that by then choosing the chroma range there of your shot, and then go back to your Luma range to make the selection just the way that you want. And you can follow that up further with your relative orange and purple effect. Don't forget to go back and check the final result. And again, just turn it on and off to see how it's limited to the person's face. A little bit of post blur can go a long way as well by blurring the actual mat. And again, switching back to skin detect mat and seeing how that post blur has an effect on that overall selection. From there, depending on your scene, you can also add what's referred to as a garbage mat. The best way to see the garbage mat is to turn on skin with garbage mat under the show menu. The option for using the garbage mat has to do with suppressing the background. If we go here to suppress background and type in suppress BG, just notice that the effect here is limited inside the circle. Now we have a face radius range to make sure that she is completely selected here, as well as where the face center parameter is here to make sure that you have your subject framed up appropriately and not your background. So I'm just going to turn it back to final so that we can see the end result. And once we have our selection, we can start to go down to either color correction options as well as adjusting pour and blur on our shot a little bit lower to get the exact shot that we want. Now, if these tools inside the effect aren't good enough for you, don't forget about Sapphire's integration with Mocha. And this is a perfect example. On the same clip I have here, under the Mocha section of this effect, I've chosen to show Mocha only, which I have blurred slightly, blurred slightly Mocha. And what's happening is this is reading from Edit Mocha, which is actually going to launch Sapphire's Mocha, a series of masks that I've drawn to outline the face, as well as subtractive masks to make sure that the foreground objects that go in front of her face are not going to be included in the selection of the facial adjustments that I'm going to make. So you can see here the list of layers that I have. Some are connected to others here in the shot to speed up the roto. Premiere is able to read from inside of Sapphire Mocha. And if I close down this window here and look, the end result of show Mocha only shows you those selections of the additive mask of the face and the subtractive masks of the fingers. And from that, we're able to then go down again and make various selections such as adjusting pore size. Don't take my word for it. Why don't you guys just try this out yourself by clicking on the link above and downloading a trial version of Sapphire today. Also follow Boris Effects on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro, and all the Boris FX products. I'm Nick Karaz. Thanks for watching.